This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a simple clean logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long, then click on OK. Okay, now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool, then hold shift, then create a circle, something like this. Now go to ellipse 1, now click on add, then click on fill gradient. Now go to uh, gradient, now type set it radial, then click on edit gradient, then color and choose any color you want. Now adjust the position, perfect. Okay, now go to beginning of this animation, then select this layer, then press S on your keyboard. Now set a keyframe on scale. Now go to around 10 frames forward, then set another keyframe, then go to uh, first keyframe and then set it zero. now copy this expression you can download this expression from link in the description box below now hold alt then click on this stopwatch then press ctrl plus v nice looks good to me now select this layer then press p on your keyboard now hold alt then click on this position stopwatch now type expression wiggle first bracket 0.4 comma 100 then bracket close perfect now go to effect and preset window and search for transform Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now uh, uh, scale uh, decrease the scale amount a little bit, and then change the position around here. Now simply select this layer, then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. Then change the position and increase the scale amount. then go to contents then ellipse one then go to gradient then click on edit gradient then change the color you want design better projects faster with envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverto Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverto Elements and start creating today. Now again select this layer then press Ctrl plus D. Now change the position. Then increase the scale amount. 
then again change the color go to ellipse then go to gradient then click on edit gradient and then change the color perfect looks good to me now offset the layers something like this looks good to me now select all layers then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to circle then click on ok now create a background so right click new then click on solid and uh, i am going with dark blue color then click on ok then place it below ok now create a circle now make it center make it little bit bigger perfect now press ctrl plus d now select this first layer then change the color to black now select this uh, layer then go to effect and preset window and search for Gaussian blur Now blurriness set it to 130. Now I'll select this layer then change the crack mat to alpha inverted mat. Now select this layer then press T then opacity set it uh, 70%. Perfect. Now select this layer then press ctrl plus D then turn on visibility then again press ctrl plus d then turn off visibility of this layer now select this layer then go to effect and preset window and search for cc fast uh, box blur sorry fast box blur now select this effect and apply onto this layer then uh, blur radius set it 15 and iteration set it 10 now press f4 on your keyboard or click here then um, turn on this option then uh, go to effect and reset window and search for compound blur then select this effect and apply onto this layer now go to project window and import our project file now select this uh, layer then place it into this timeline then turn off visibility of this layer then select this layer then go to compound blur and blur layer set it our grunge texture and maximum blur set it uh, maybe 75 looks good to me okay now turn on visibility of this layer then turn off fill then um, uh, stroke amount set it 4 and then change the color to dark gray now change the uh, layer mode to add perfect now select all these layers then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to uh, glass then click on ok now press f4 or click here then turn on this option then go to the beginning of this animation then uh, then go to the beginning of this animation then press s then set a keyframe on scale then scale amount set it zero then go for our 10 frames then scale amount set it 100 
again paste the expression here um, copy this expression then hold alt then click on the stopwatch then press ctrl plus v okay now uh, drag this layer a few frames forward looks good to me okay now import our logo so you can also use text as well now select this logo and place it into this timeline now make it small a little bit now select this logo layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo now click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for vegas now select this effect and apply onto this logo layer now blend mode set it transparent then segment set it 3 and then uh, hardness set it 0.5 double zero and end opacity set it one then color set it white okay now go to around two seconds then set a keyframe on length and rotation then go to around four second sorry then go to around two seconds then set a keyframe on length and rotation then a length amount set it 0 then go to around 4 seconds and then length amount set it 1 and uh, rotation set it 2 to 0 now press U on your keyboard then select all keyframes then press F9 let's run preview it looks good to me okay now go to project window and select our logo com then place it into this timeline now uh, go to effect and preset window and search for drop shadow now select this effect and apply onto this layer now distance set it um, maybe 30 and softness set it 70 now again go to effect and preset video and search for drop shadow then apply this effect on this layer again then uh, shadow color set it white then change the direction to uh, minus 45 degree then uh, distance set it uh, maybe 30 and then increase the softness then increase the opacity a little bit perfect okay now go to around um, maybe 2 second 20 frames then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe now apply this effect onto this layer now change the angle to maybe minus 125 degree then uh, set a keyframe on transition completion and then um transition completion set it 60 70 percent 
then go to around 4 second then transition completion set it 30% now press U on your keyboard then select these two keyframe then press F9 to make them easy ease now increase the feather amount to 175 okay let's ramp view this looks good to me now go to around um, 5 seconds then select this circle and glass layer now press T on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity then go to around 6 second then opacity amount set it 0 ok now create a new text layer so right click new then click on text now type text here the type in apple.com now make it center now select this layer then press P on your keyboard then set a keyframe on position then go backward few frames and change the position to something like this then press T on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity then opacity amount set it 0 then go forward few frames then opacity amount set it 100 now select all keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease ok let's ramp you this Our animation is complete. Press Studio to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.